Hey guys, I'm back. Another day, another video. Um, so, uh, what to talk about today? Um, let's talk about coils. Um, let's start from what you'd expect to find in a beginner vape device all the way up to um, the build your own type scenarios. So when, when you look at a, um, a beginner device, it's generally going to be um, a, pretty much a plug and play, a stock coil. Now those are a 99% are, are, are lumped into what I'd call two categories. Now your basic tanks in that will generally come with um, a coil you will screw into place, prime with uh, your e-juice liquid, um, fill up a tank, go. Now, they are essentially just coils you'd find in like the device I use, but they mass produced fits it into a smaller space and really meant to for ease of use I don't particularly like vaping on them because you can't really keep an eye on them and you're going to battle to get the flavor out of a stock coil that you are out of going to get out of a uh, shit. A, a, a bolt a bolt coil now the second stock coil um, would fall under your pod systems. Now it's pretty much identical, but your coil is now encased around your stock coil. It's going to be encased a pod of some some description filled with juice, and it's got enough juice in it that you will get through the juice uh, before the coil burns out. These are really, really nice um, for two reasons. A lot of these pod systems are very, very, um, no mouth to lung, very discreet, very, and you can vape them pretty much anywhere and no one's really going to notice. Um, and also with these, these things, it's going to be easier to get your nick salts, but that's a whole different story. Um, because of uh, them being so low homage. Now, apart from those two, they will be in a tank sort of situation. Um, so your coil is surrounded by liquid. There is literally only one stock coil that I know of that is situated in a dripper. Um, this particular dripper is uh, squonk compatible, badly designed, and pretty bloody shit, if, if you don't mind me saying so. Um, they've got the stainless steel disc with holes cut in it, um, disc, cotton disc, with holes perforated and apparently it's from what I've seen I can't see how it worked nicely and what I've heard it's really going to be shite so stepping up from there you're going to have your your build it yourself but that's not really an accurate description because you can buy pre-built coils now these usually come with uh, come in the line of your aliens your claptons and blah 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 very basic you screw them into place cut your leads um, fire them up get them uh, get them heating, glowing from inside out, the usual story, we can go. Can't really say that's a do-it-yourself, it's... 
it's a bit of a cheating way out but yes they are fantastic um, not always the best thing uh, it depends on your dripper your tank like like the dead rabbit um, my favorite dripper you can't put a set of chunky coils in there it's just not gonna work you're gonna, you'll get away with some uh, some Claptons which are a lot smaller than than aliens and not only that you'll have to go micro uh, micro Claptons otherwise the whole device just the whole dripper just doesn't like it too much vapor not enough airflow a lot of guys have uh, found this out the hard way and that's what that's the only reason people have really bitched about the dead rabbit um, yes there are people that just don't like restrictive airflows but do you know what you're getting at getting into oh. Turn from the wrong lane. Interrupt everyone. Yeah, you know what you're getting into, restrictive airflow. Now the problem with restrictive airflow and nice chunky air is aliens are gonna give off a bunch of vapor, a lot of vapor. They're gonna they do need a lot of uh, wattage, so they're gonna have a lot of heat, a lot of vapor. The problem is you've got a restrictive airflow, so you've got nowhere for that vapor to really go, it's gonna condensate almost instantaneously, and that's where you're gonna get your spitting and stuff from. So, aliens are awesome in the right device, uh, but half the time I'm using stock round wire, which brings me to your real do-it-yourself. You get the wire, you wrap it around your RD, install it, get it firing, wick it. Now this is a very basic explanation of this, but um, wick it and go. Oh, excuse me. I completely lost my train of thought. Now, a stock calls. Ninety percent of your stock calls are obviously your plug and play type of thing, and your pod systems, which are extremely plug and play. Slot your slot your pod system in place. Go instantaneously. No priming. No stiffle. Uh, to the dirt yourself, which is bought coils um, install firing wicking to build your own coils install a fire wick but then you get I'd say the weird stuff um, and I'd call this a fad now trains are something that that last a decent amount of time um, like a clothing trend that will last a good year before it becomes unfashionable a trend is something that because of the latest music video I have to have them next week is like why the hell did I buy these um, now the fad in core wires is mesh um, now mesh is a think about a, a think about mesh I mean you've got you've got that picture in your head shrink it down to sort of a microscopic size I would say microscopic but a really really small really really thin wire mesh that's going to heat up and uh, obviously vaporize your your liquid backed with cotton obviously there, there are major issues I haven't dealt too much with the tank, but dripper wise, the one dripper had the mesh going like that, and obviously you put your cotton behind it, and the one had mesh going like that, and your cotton like underneath it. There's a couple of drawbacks to this. Um, if you really do get a hot spot, you're stuffed. If when the coil goes it's almost impossible to revive it and either of those drippers you can't really put stock coils in 
uh, the one with the mesh that goes like that there's no juice well whatsoever and the one with the two big posts where the mesh goes like that you're gonna have long wicks and that's also not going to be too great the other issue with 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 the mesh is you got a lot of cotton in there and I mean a lot of cotton so it's like a lot of juice before before you even start to become fully saturated and I see this as a as a major issue because you are gonna go through a lot of juice um, because even when you've come to the end with with with, cord, with wicks and cords like mine you can get them pretty dry before especially on the right cotton you can get them pretty damn dry before before really needing to drip with mesh you can't you can't get them too dry um, so yeah everything has its pros and cons um, this is the vaping world devices drippers but uh, this is my little take on coils and no uh, nice for you guys to know what to expect when you sort of get more into vaping but yeah I think let's leave it at that uh, so until next time keep it cloudy